what, we're getting to that point now where I can actually film because it's daylight. <laughs> everyone i'm back on my bed location i don't know where to film okay sometimes i like to film over there sometimes i like to film here we're gonna have to work on it also i haven't turned my lights on which doesn't make a whole lot of a difference but it's nice to know that they're around today's video is going to be a tag video primarily because i've run out of ideas again oh that's probably why i haven't uploaded for a couple weeks i'm so sorry i've been having like an on and off break from youtube at the moment i thought i'd do a little tag video uh tags are always quite fun they always help to let you know more about me as well which is always a bonus i guess the tag i am going to be doing today is the 15 weird questions tag which i thought sounded a little fun a little fresh so i thought we'd give that a go see how we get on before i do get into the video if you are new to my channel and you want to see my face again then click subscribe down below turn on the notification bell and without further ado let's get started question number one is what is a nickname that only your family calls you and I don't really have nicknames because uh, my name is really hard to shorten and make into a nickname so it's a bit difficult my family will normally just call me like Sarah as like Sarah for short just the first part of my name um, or just they normally call me Sarah like there's no really nickname to my name I suppose question number two is do you have any weird phobias I wouldn't say weird phobias like I'm pretty okay with a lot of stuff I'm not a big fan of electric shocks and I had like a slight phobia of trampolines for a little while just because they were linked to the electric shocks and like just hate that kind of plasticky stuff where you know you're gonna get shocked from it that's like my I hate that I ooh, think about that it makes me cringe question number three is what is a weird habit of yours before I go to bed I have to go around my entire house or wherever I am I have to go around and check everything in the house anything electrical I have to make sure it's off or like on a safety setting um, if there's a remote control on the side that isn't on the right table I will put it on the right table um, you know if my like TV box isn't switched on to a certain light I have to do that like I'm very weird and I have like OCD about things like that like I need to make sure everything's perfect before I go to sleep or it's gonna like play on my mind and I'm not gonna be able to go to bed question number four is what is a song that you secretly love to blast um, and belt out when you're alone now for me um, my friend Abby's gonna love this uh, it's any five seconds of summer song mostly like the kind of boppy ones because I when I was younger, I really did not like Five Seconds of Summer. Oh, everyone's subscribing, I'm sorry. Um, but now, like their newest album, and even their old stuff, like I do love to like really belt out and listen to, like She Looks So Perfect, that's low-key a bop. And I, I, I will admit, I did really love that song when it came out. Question number five is what is one of your biggest pet peeves? For me, my friends will know this one, is when we go on public transport, like a train, when we go on the train and there's a four seater and someone's just sat on their own in the four seater with all of their luggage on the available seats. There's four of us, bear in mind, and you're there on your own with your three suitcases. Uh, like they have the top things four luggage it just winds me up you know especially when the train's really packed there's four people like wanting to sit down and you've got one little person over here on their ones in this four seater it just uh, it just winds me up if you're one of those i'm sorry but please evaluate yourself and your decisions question number six is what is one of your nervous habits when i'm nervous i chew the inside of my mouth i chew my lips um, and I really I like kind of like scratch at my skin as well. Like it's not good I bite my nails as well. I have a lot of nervous habits. I'm kind of like a nervous person in general Question number seven is what side of the bed do you sleep on? Well, I have a single bed So anywhere in this perimeter if I sleep around my boyfriends, for example I will always sleep on the left side. So my left side uh, just because I like being near the window I like a bit of air but then obviously it's awkward because I have nowhere to put my phone so I kind of see my predicament here I feel like I'm gonna always be a left side but then when we did go away I did sleep on the right side so I'm kind of maybe I don't have a preference maybe I just sleep wherever I like question number eight is what was your first stuffed animal and its name I can't remember my first but one that I've had for like years now I will show you is this little monkey here it does have a music box but it, it used to pull its tail, it doesn't work anymore. But sometimes it will randomly go off in the night and it will really freak me out. So you need to stop doing that. 
I'm talking to a teddy. Um, but you can see how old it is and where I've had to sew up the middle because it had a hole in it. But it's, I've had it for as long as I can remember. And its name is just Monkey because I'm really creative with names and I like to, you know, name my animals after what they are. Question number nine is what's the drink you always order at Starbucks? My drink order has changed dramatically. I used to be a hot chocolate gal. Then I moved on to chocolate cream fraps. Then I moved on to Java chip fraps. Uh, and then when the cool lime refreshers were around, always that. Um, you know, I used to order the juice blends a lot, like the raspberry one and the mango one. And now my order at the moment is a iced cafe mocha because a little bit of coffee, a little bit of chocolate. I can't drink coffee straight, that, that will kill me. Coffee mixed with chocolate, that is my, that is my OG at the moment with some whipped cream. Mm. Yes. Yes, that's my favourite thing at the moment. Question number 10 is what's a beauty rule you preach but never actually practice? And that is to have a good skincare routine. <laughs> my friends have such advanced skincare routines. Um, they have different moisturisers, different toners, different this, different that. My, <laughs> my night routine is just wipe my makeup off and go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> and like, you know, I don't have a skincare routine. Like I literally put moisturizer on in the morning and then just wipe my makeup off before I go to bed and that's it. Like I, I really should put toner and all this on, but I just don't, I always forget. And by the end of the night, I'm too tired to think about that. All I want to do is sleep. So I really should try and have a skincare routine, but I just don't think about it. Question number 11 is what way do you face in the shower? I face towards the shower head if that makes sense. So if the shower head's here and I'm here, that's how I face. Um, obviously, if I'm washing my hair, I will spin round so we can get the back and then spin back round so I can get the front. Um, but I, you know, like I don't, is there a right way to face in the shower? Is that a thing? I don't know. Question number 12 is, do you have any weird body skills? I don't really have any weird body skills, but I can click my jaw. Uh, which is why I was on the radio with Dan and Phil. Oh yeah, you were on the radio with Dan and Phil, not because like you didn't call every single show that they had, you need to get a grip. Or because they found that very interesting, apparently. You can watch that video where I talk about that up here. Also, I'll tag that whilst I'm here. I mean, please go watch it. I'm a big Dan and Phil fan, if you couldn't already tell. If you couldn't already tell. I have a really bad overbite, not really bad, but it's a big one. Um, so my jaw isn't like locked in place properly, if that makes sense. Like my jaw is more prominent on this side, which is why I have a slight, like my chin is in, in straight, if that makes sense. It's weird, but I can click this side of my mouth and sometimes this side, but primarily this side whenever I fancy, which probably isn't good for it. But it's a good stress reliever as well, which is what I should have mentioned in the other question. Question number 13 is, what's your favourite comfort food that's bad, but you love to eat it anyway? Um, any takeout ever. Whenever I'm having a bad day, I will resort to eating like a McDonald's, a KFC, a Domino's, a Papa John's, a Pizza Hut. You know, I'll be like, I need something greasy and I need it now. It's really bad. I shouldn't do it. I should really try to indulge in some fruit or something. But, you know, when you're feeling sad and down, fruit is not going to be a friend fruit is going to be something where you're feeling good i think when you're feeling good about yourself you want to have a bit of fruit but when you're feeling bad i'm always like right pass me the big mac you know it's been a rough day question number 14 is what's a phrase or exclamation you always say my thing is that i'll quote like videos that i've seen and find funny so i'll always be quoting a meme of some form um <laughs> like when the here come that boy was a thing i'd always just be like here come that boy. At any random moment, I really hate myself. Why am I like this? And finally, question number 15 is time to sleep. What are you actually wearing? For me, um, I'll just go with like a, an old band t-shirt that I don't really wear anymore or an old graphic tee um, and just a pair of pajama bottoms and that will do me just fine. I do have the odd like pajama set where I've got it for like Christmas or something and it's like really cute and Christmassy themed, which I'll just wear throughout the year because I don't have any boundaries when it comes to celebrating holidays. It's, a, it's Christmas all year round, okay? guys i mean you've literally got pumpkin lights hanging on your bed but okay you you go off about christmas that was the 15 weird questions tag video i hope you guys enjoyed me rambling on for a good 10 minutes it looks like yep 10 minutes we love that for me come on ad revenue thank you guys so much for watching if you did enjoy the video and want to see more tag videos let me know give the video a thumbs up subscribe down below if you are new i'd love to have you here thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you next time bye guys